Hey gang, Ante here. Today we're studying a uh, bread and butter attack from side control. Uh, it's gonna lead to other opportunities we'll show in other videos. Hope it helps. All right gang, first attack from side control. We're in side control. We decide some way, somehow to neutralize that near side arm. Maybe I have my seatbelt, my right knee goes in his armpit, slides under. I come over, I pull my left elbow and my left uh, knee. From here, often we attack the Americana. We decide we're gonna do something a little different today. I start picking his pocket. I'm going in his collar, sliding down and then coming up. As I start doing that, my left hand is going at the base of the neck. My two elbows are gonna try to meet. As I'm working to do that, my right knee today is gonna come up on his belly. As my right elbow comes to my left, my left elbow elevates for a simple little paper, oh, baseball bat choke. Do you need the knee in the belly? Only if you feel like you make a lot of space and you want to avoid a knee coming in and maybe in a guard recovery, or even worse, like an arm lock attack on us. When we're doing this to choke, after we neutralize the near side arm, I'm gonna look to come in with my right hand. My right shoulder is gonna be on his solar plexus or his belly. So when I go to finish the choke with my left hand in uh, at the base of the neck, my chest is gonna point this way. My shoulder goes towards his belly as I bring my elbows together. Big fan of this one just because there's not a lot of space that you make in the beginning if you're conscious of eating up space. But there's enough that promotes movement. That movement we're going to study some follow-up attacks on in another video. Here's a couple of reps on this one. That's it, gang. Hope you liked it. Hope it helped. If so, give it a like, a share, and all that good stuff. Yeah. Bye bye.